a lot of stations simply won't play it. Dave Muncy's reports. This is the actual video that MTV won't run. K-Rock won't play the CD version of it. Paul McCartney's new song called Big Boys Bickering uses the F word seven times. Listen. Big boys bickering. Hit it up for everyone. We won't play it either. So the original baby face of the Beatles released a canned interview of himself defending his lyric, saying it was the only word that fit to help again, save the planet. You see, Big Boy's Bickering is an environmental land. protest right. song. You know, if I'm talking about um, the ozone layer and the big hole in it, 50 mile wide hole, I don't think, well, that's a flipping hole. I think that's a f***ing big hole and it's got to be closed, you know. MTV, which cut the song out of its own special about McCartney, wouldn't comment other than to say the song's obscene. K-Rock's Pete Fornatel went a lot further and in essence told McCartney to wash out his mouth. An artist of Paul McCartney's stature should be remembered for the words that he's written across our hearts and across our minds, not the ones he's scribbled on a subway wall. McCartney performed the song during a show here at the Ed Sullivan Theater just last month. Now that's 30 years virtually to the month since he and the Beatles first appeared here. 30 years from I Want to Hold Your Hand to Four Letter Lyrics. The song goes on sale here next month, but even Rolling Stone reporter Alan Light, who's done extensive work on rapper Ice-T's trouble with alleged censorship, sees McCartney's ode to the F-word as a grab for publicity. He's always been, you know, the cute beetle, the, the squeaky clean, nice beetle, and as he gets older, he's got to fight his image, you know, softening. Whether McCartney's right or wrong for complaining that MTV, K-Rock, even the BBC won't air Big Boy's bickering, he's succeeded superbly in publicizing a song that stores likely will sell. Dave Monsey's Fox News. Rapper